Now that the Resident Evil 3 playthrough is done and my review is out, it was time for the next game. And since I loved Resident Evil 3, I thought of playing something similar. You know, science fiction, some horror. The game we're playing today is a 2019 release. It was a game of the year contender actually, but unfortunately it didn't make it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you guessed it. We're playing Control. Gotcha there, didn't I? <laughs> Are there no difficulties in this game? I won't get to show off my pro gamer skills. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Fair warning. Warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room... ...and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie... What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's... ...different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? What does transfixed mean? Hello? Uh, can I not run? Can I walk? What? Please stop running. Oh, I could run and I can run faster. But I cannot walk. The running animation. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This looks informative. Now, this game wants to go the realistic route. At least that's what the graphics tell me, but... Uh... Yeah, you're gonna have to stop going up on tables like that. Hey, there you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound. 
I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. What the fuck? The floor crack when I jumped? Just a second there. Yep, the floor cracks. How, how, how much do you weigh, woman? The cell and the poster. Walk in with that garbage. The first time I saw Can I walk now? Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? Are you are you talking to me? Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Things are you are sick in the head? Can we walk now? You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. That what happened? The what? Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fucked. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. What? What? 